Some people are saying they're not very comfortable giving the apps their social insurance number, and I completely understand it. Well, this was unexpected. First of all, hello, hello, hello. Oh, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Shayana. And we're going out for a ride along tonight. I just wanted to go out for about two hours, see what I could get done. I didn't come out all week this week, but I wasn't even going to record. And then I was like, wait, there's actually things happening in the shift today. So first I left the house when I had this double order. I went to Wendy's and I couldn't hear them say, but we already gave away that order. And the guy's like, ah, whatever. So they made it. They gave it to me. I went to pick up the second order, dropped them both off, and there was a hidden tip on that order. So yay, I'm happy about that. And then I got this DoorDash shopping order. After DoorDash was like really wonky, it knocked me off my shift, even though I was scheduled till later. It did that to me earlier. Well, not this week, but last week. I don't know what's going on with DoorDash and the scheduling, but it's very, very annoying. And it's always after I'm on a pause. So let's say, I pause DoorDash while I'm doing something else. And then I come back to DoorDash and it completely booted me off. And it's like dash end. I was like, what? So I'm on the DoorDash app. It's telling me to schedule. But yet when I go to schedule, I have a schedule. I'm on from five until 1030. It did this to me this week as well. And I was like, what's going on? But I was going home, so I didn't really care. But now I'm like, what's going on? So I, it's like I'm not even on, but yet I'm on. Like, it makes no sense. And I was paused, and when I went back to unpause it, it said my dash ended. And I'm like, but it hasn't been 32 or 34 minutes or whatever the case might be. I don't know what's going on with DoorDash. So then when it got busy again, I went back on DoorDash, and I got this um, shopping order. And I was like, eh, it's good, but it's going, like, further down in Vaudre. And I was like, do I want to do it? So I was like, ah, whatever. It's only six items. It was super easy. It took me four minutes to pick up everything, which was awesome. And I was taking my sweet old time walking in the store. And then when I dropped it off, there was a hidden tip. So I'm like, yay. So I came all the way back to the top of Vaudre. And then I waited. And I was like, okay, no, we're not doing this. It was like 8 o'clock by then or something. I'm like, no, we're, we're not doing this. I'm going home. Like, even though I said I was going to be out here for two hours, like it's been an hour, like I'm going home. And then I got this order and I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> this is $30. It was going far. I mapped it and it said from where I was, it was like an 18 minute drive or something. But then I mapped to the restaurant and that was like a nine minute drive. So I'm like, oh, so he's just like, eight minutes away from the restaurant but really it's thirty dollars even if it takes me half an hour to do the whole thing like come back into my area it's thirty dollars so i went picked up the order i couldn't find the restaurant because i've never been there before finally found it and then i dropped it off to the customer's house and you know when like so it's in the boonies I pulled up, the customer was going inside of his house. So I assumed he saw me because like it's pitch black. Granted, he has his lights on, but like it's in the boonies. You would hear a car come in up on your gravel driveway like, no. Nope. So he goes inside. So I'm like going to the door and I'm kind of taking my time because I'm assuming that he would come back out, but he didn't. So I'm like, I look in the app, it says contactless. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to leave it at the door. So I left it at the door. Went to my car, sent him a message saying, thank you very much. You know, your food's at the door, blah, blah, blah. And then as I'm leaving, I see him like through the trees. He comes out and then like he looks and then he looks down and like bends down to pick it up. So I'm like, was he expecting me to like be at the door? Like then say hand it to me. But I felt bad because he tipped really, really well. Whatever. Made the trek to come back into my area. And I would say maybe like two minutes from that customer's house, I got the skip order. And normally I wouldn't do something that's more kilometers than dollars, but I have to drive back into my area anyways to come home. And this was the McDonald's, which is a minute away from my house. And it's going about four minutes away from the McDonald's. So I'm like, of course I'm gonna take it. It's gonna pay me to come back into my area. Dropped it off, no tip, no tip whatsoever. I was like, well, okay <laughs> i guess that's uh i guess that's what we're doing and then i came home because that was it 
Okay, so let's talk about this Skip the Dishes DoorDash TIN Bill C-47 issue. So a lot of people are talking about this right now because now Skip the Dishes sent out an email to everyone telling them that we need to provide our social insurance number or a business number. But they're saying it's to prepare the T4A forms. Now, I don't know if Skip's actually going to be preparing the T4A forms for us, but like why not say that it's related to an actual bill because people are like oh i don't care about the t4a form so i'm not going to do it but there's going to be a fine if you don't do it so i don't understand why skip is doing it that way two their date is april how is it april if the law comes into effect or the bill comes into effect january 1st so i'm very confused with what's going on like it, it's just I don't know one app is saying one thing the other app is saying another thing uber i heard absolutely nothing from uber yet hey shana from the future here so i know that uber just came out with an email and a notification in our app that tells us do not share our social insurance number with anybody or with them that they're never going to ask for it but if we look at it carefully it says that they will never ask for it via text or via phone call so that doesn't mean that in the app they might not request that information so i saw in a few facebook groups where people were like i knew this was a scam like we don't have to give it to doordash we don't have to give it to skip that's not what uber is saying they're saying via phone and via text that we should not share that type of information as a way to keep our accounts safe so let me know if you heard anything from uber other than that email where they're asking for our social insurance number or our business number for tax purposes. However, I do remember giving Uber my social insurance number already. So maybe they already have the information and this is why they're not reaching out to people, but you would think that they would still send out an email to say, hey, here's a new bill. This is what we need to do. We already have your info. You're good to go kind of thing. I don't know. Now, another thing that came up is some people are saying they're not very comfortable giving the apps their social insurance number. And I completely understand it because with your social insurance number, you could do so many like in the wrong hands. They could do so many bad things with your social insurance number. So what I would suggest is looking into getting a business number. It is not complicated. Like it's you have some forms to fill out. That's it. That's all. Like you do have a fee to pay, but whatever you are a business, it is a tax write off. So might as well. So if you don't feel comfortable giving your social insurance number, then just give your business number. And then that way you can keep that information private, but you can still give them the info that they need to provide to the CRA. And if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, then I suggest you check out this video here because that's where I go in depth of what Bill C-47 is and the implications for us as Canadian drivers with these gig apps. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.